U.S. Navy running into a tense confrontation with Iran. One of our warships forced to fire three warning shots. Look at this interchange that happened here in the North Arabian Gulf. The boats were about 200 yards apart away from this U.S. ship, approaching it head on, essentially. Garrett Tenney is live at the White House with more on exactly what happened in that video. What can you tell us, Garrett? Well, Martha, you remember this is just the latest incident, and that makes the fourth time this week alone that Iranian ships have aggressively harassed U.S. Navy vessels in the area. You'll remember on Tuesday when four Iranian fast boats came within 300 yards of a U.S. Navy destroyer. Then we're learning the very next day, U.S. officials say that Iran's Revolutionary Guard again aggressively harassed several U.S. Navy ships on three separate occasions in the Northern Arabian Gulf. At one point, the Iranians came within 200 yards of the USS Tempest, and they again ignored repeated radio calls and warnings of a potential collision. That's when the USS Squall, another coastal patrol ship, fired three warning shots into the water, which is essentially the last step you can take before fully engaging anything considered to be a threat. Yesterday, the White House echoed what we've heard from the Pentagon, that this kind of behavior will only escalate tensions in the region. At this point, it's not clear what the intentions of the Iranian ships were, uh, but the behavior is not acceptable, given that this U.S. ship was in international waters. Uh, these types of actions and incidents are concerning, uh, and they have the potential to unnecessarily uh, escalate tensions. Tensions that are already very high in the region, Martha. So what are the Iranians saying about all of this? Well, that's the scary thing, Martha, is that Iranian defense minister has said they have no plans to stop this kind of aggressive behavior with U.S. Navy ships, and that looking at the data, it appears to back those claims up. Well, according to U.S. Central Command, in all of 2015, there were roughly 30 dangerous interactions with Iranian vessels. We're now not even two-thirds of the way through this year, and we've already matched that total. Combine that with Iran's other provocative behavior, including ballistic missiles test and backing more than 100,000 troops in Iraq, it all leads to a very volatile situation. Yeah. Martha. Where's that going? Thank you very much, Garrett.